Hello everyone. So last night Ukrainian drones attacked Kuschayovskaya Air Base in Krasnodar region of Russia. This video playing now shows the damage, so the drone looks to have hit buildings near the flight line. Now I can't see any destroyed aircraft in this video clip, but look closely. Scattered around you can see remnants of destroyed glide bomb kits for Fab 500 bombs. Russia attaches these to its Fab 500s to increase the range. So this looks like it was an ammunition storage facility which was given a hefty roger in here. Of course, this is just one small section of a base. It's entirely possible that other areas were hit too, causing damage to them. We are going to have to wait for more information to confirm further damage and of course, potential aircraft losses. So for Ukraine, this is a big successful attack as Russia uses these glide bombs to hit Ukrainian targets both on the front lines and beyond the front lines. For Russia, this is the first confirmed interception of a drone by a Fab 500. Congratulations. Now, I said no aircraft were confirmed destroyed yet, but this screenshot here shows how close they were to this depot. So you can see what appears to be a Su-27 very close. So it is very possible that we may yet see some destroyed or damaged jets which were hit by shrapnel and debris, or even aircraft hit by a drone themselves, as, so far, we don't know how many drones actually hit the facility. But again, we need to wait for information there. Here is the geolocation of a destroyed building of a targeted area. So you can see the flight line is not very far away at all. And here zoomed out is a nice overview of a base overall. Now, this airbase is home to the 797th Training Aviation Regiment, rather than combat aircraft. But the presence of flankers and of course the glide bombs here, suggests that Russia has moved a combat squadron here, and is using this base to support attacks against Ukraine. Here it is zoomed out, so you can see that this is across the Sea of Azov in Krasnodar region and is south of Rostov on Drone. Rostov and nearby Taganrog are also home to Russian air bases. This is the first confirmed attack on Korshivskaya Air Base, what I can tell. So I think Russia's moving combat aircraft here would have happened fairly recently. So, a very solid strike here by Ukraine. Now before we finish, I'm going to play a video from Sanef about the ongoing fundraiser. The donation information is in the description. Thanks very much for watching and take care everybody. Hey everyone, so we've managed to load up the evacuation uh, Mitsubishi Shogun. This is gonna be ballistic proof. This is what we're building next for the for the guys. Obviously it's not it's not ready yet. And behind me we have the van and a lot of noise with multiple engines, BMW engines and BMW gearboxes. I'll explain that the reason for that on another video. Hey people, so uh, car's fully loaded, as you've seen, and it's now on its and it's now on its way to Birmingham. <laughs> 